Morning all. So <clears throat> the University of Portsmouth are conducting the big microplastic survey. So I am off to hopefully three different beaches around my area to try and take part. Uh, if you want to get uh, involved, then I shall add a link onto the end. But I'm just going to make a little film of, of just how simple it should be to do a microplastic survey and get yourself involved in it all. I think it's a great cause, obviously. So <laughs> uh, I'm now going to set off and I shall take you down the beach. So here I am at Wolverswick. Uh, as you can see, I've picked up... So anyway, hopefully you can hear this all right. So what, to do a microplastic survey, basically you mark out a metre square, like this. Uh, if you're better prepared, then you could bring a piece of rope or something like that to measure it out. I've just drawn it in the sand. I've got two buckets. This one's got some seawater in. What I'm gonna do, I've got, what that's, that piece of cardboard that my hand is through, is a 10 centimetre square. I'm going to take five samples, about an inch or so deep, from this metre square, pour into the bucket, and uh, sieve it. I don't know, maybe I've read the tide wrong. Maybe it's just the weather. Anyway, uh, sieve into the bucket and see what little bits of plastic are left. So uh, I shall stop filming and get on with it. <coughs> so I've decamped from the sea because it's just far too windy <laughs> to try and concentrate so I took five samples um, five meet five squares of a meter each uh, five samples from each they've gone into the buckets I've had a bit of a sieve this is what's left so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna decamp to home I think and I'm just gonna <coughs> there's a few that I've removed um, I'm gonna decamp to home just sort of go through it and just check what's stones and what's not. Um, it's looking quite optimistic actually that there's not really uh, much plastic in there. So uh, I think the simplest way to check is to any bits that suspect, pop them in the seawater and they should float. Um, so we'll see what the results are. Hi, so after the first attempt uh, that I did by myself in last winter, uh, we went back with the family and we did part two with my sister, um, her husband and her kids. So uh, she's going to take the reins of the video. Um, but if you want to get involved yourselves and do these forms, the big microplastic survey, the email address is info at microplasticsurvey.org and they can email you all the information that you possibly need. It's, a very, it's free and it's simple to do and it's something very effective. So should you feel like you wish to participate, then please give them an email. Uh, but anyway, I shall let my sister ca take up the story and tell you how we got on at Cove Hive in beautiful Suffolk. Hi, we've been at Cove Hive Beach in Suffolk and we've been searching for microplastic. We've been doing a survey. We marked out one metre square and we used these frames to search five times within the one metre. We added our samples to water and then we sieved with an ordinary household sieve and we only found in 25 meter square one piece of microplastic so suffolk beaches are lovely and clean hell yeah it's a real comfort so that's that's a your typical sample area oh, sorry, that's right and that's the uh, whole beach that we have walked down and there's our there's our utensils and oh, we did a litter pick as well as found, found some good litter yes. so uh go suffolk i say i think so yeah. clean beaches